Hi Scorpio, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your spiritual guidance for mid-February into early March. It's kind of flowing very, very gently into early March uh, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Today I'm using the, utilizing, let's say, working with, playing with the Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild. And if you haven't checked out the Life, Purpose, Career, and Money readings, they are up as well as my weekly spiritual guidance videos that I release every Sunday usually and all of my videos are available in audio format <laughs> and you can listen to them uh, and drive your car or exercise or whatever so uh, there's links below. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on with Scorpio? Beautiful water sign, quick check-in, quick bit of guidance for Scorpio. February into early, early. Whenever you happen to watch this or listen to this. Focus on the light and seeing the true you. Okay, well, you saw me shuffle, <laughs> uh, but Libra just got this in the same position. Scorpio. Beautiful, beautiful. Light, light energy for you there, heart-centered energy. Okay, and then for the primary kind of focus here, we have focus on the light. Well, I will say, um, it does look like you are working towards completing something during this particular time frame, ending a cycle, and, you know, remind yourself, Scorpio, that it's important to end a cycle <laughs> on a positive note, right? Focusing on the things that are happening in your world in the next two weeks <laughs> uh, that are working, you know? Focusing in on... Uh, the sunshine, focusing in on the light within, focusing on what brings forth that light within you. You know, if you are doing something and you feel like your internal light dim, right? Just checking in with your Scorpio, <laughs> very in tune with what's going on, the emotions, the underlying emotions, right? Your own emotions. Uh, checking in, does that does it feel like it dims your light or does it um, uh, ignite your light more and more? When, what you're thinking about, what you're talking about, does it dim or does it expand? Dim, expand, you know, kind of check in like that for you, Scorpio. Focus in on that light. And also get, get some sunshine on your face if you can, you know, um, be outside. But we have this beautiful uh, divine masculine energy of doing, expression, putting forth energy in the world. Um, and you have been here, underlying energy of reconnecting taking some time out of respite here or respite <laughs> you can say it either way apparently um, connecting to that heart-centered energy but to see the true you you have had to take some time out maybe spend some time by water even um, to remember who you truly are there's like this random teacup here <laughs> She's cracking me up, and I don't know uh, what that means. So I'm going to ask you, Scorpio, to tune into what that might mean for you in your own particular life if you had tea with someone recently. Because um, that, if you did, if you shared a, a cuppa with someone, uh, that person may have reflected back to you aspects of your true self, helped you reconnect with your own heart here. Um, and then we have focus on the light. reconnecting with the light within reconnecting scorpio with what you see in the world that is positive that excites you that makes you want to do things even if you don't do them but makes you excited to do them i'm kind of feeling like this like this, this giant eyeball <laughs> uh, and what you're seeing is all this light, Scorpio, and it's drawing you out, it's drawing you towards it. Focus on that. That energy brings to completion that which you've been working on. It takes you to the next step, leveling up as we go into March. Very, very interesting reading for you there, Scorpio. Okay, I'm going to end it there. It feels it feels good to me. So this is just a quick peek, a quick bit of guidance for you, Scorpio. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. And in the meantime, I wish you much love as always.